guys, Dr. Zach here with Any Spine Chiropractic Center. Today we're going to be talking about shoes, how they affect your spine, and health. First up, the flip-flop. This has absolutely zero support for your foot. Don't wear these ever. Ever. Next up, let's talk about running shoes. First, when you go to the store and get a new pair, make sure you check both shoes. Just because one shoe looks great and passes all the checks doesn't mean the other shoe is going to. Also, make sure you change your shoes every 400 miles-ish. Um, after that, the shoe starts to break down and does not give you the support that you need. First check. Take your new running shoe or your old running shoe and forcibly press the front toes up. Wherever the crease is in the shoe, it should be over the ball of your foot, is, and that's also where your toes bend when you walk normally. If you press this up, and it bends way up here in the arch, that is a terrible shoe. All it's doing every time you walk is stretching out everything on the bottom of your foot, uh, which causes plantar fasciitis and a whole bunch of other easily preventable uh, foot conditions, which lead to knee conditions, hip conditions, back conditions. So easily preventable. Take the shoe, press it up, and make sure each shoe creases on the same spot. One shoe might be great, the other shoe, might bend all the way up here. If you're at the store, ask for a new box and take the two good shoes and the person that doesn't watch this video will get the two bad shoes. Okay, check number two. Place each shoe on the ground and give it a little rock. They should have some support on the ground. One shoe shouldn't be wobbling all around while one shoe is stable. So let's give it a little back and forth action like this. Let's make sure it's semi-stable on the ground. The last thing that we're looking for is the heel check. So place both shoes in front of you and look at this part of the heel on the back. As you can see, this heel is lower than this heel. It's not by much, but let's see if I can get on level for you. You can see the difference. So if you can see a difference, even though it's slight, it's too much. Um, both of these heels should be exactly level with each other. If not, um, you know, if you're getting brand new shoes, ask to get a new box of the same shoe. They might look at you funny, but, you know, make sure that what you're going to be walking around in for the next 400 miles is good. You don't want to be walking around on a poor foundation. It's going to throw everything off. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed our very short informative video on how to check if a shoe is good or not. Uh, check out our blog at anyspine.com for more information and other videos. We guys hope you have a great day and keep on running.